Tony Mez, popularly known for his darling romantic roles in Hollywood movies, is now a new name in the Nigerian movie industry. Darling, 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 darling. darling. Uh, well, well done, eh? Thank you, my darling. <laughs> Darling, I was thinking, you know, my business has really improved this past couple of months and um, I was thinking that I am due for an expansion, you know, expand the shop, make it bigger, then bring in more drugs. So today, we are going to talk about his biography and things you don't know about him. But before then, if you are new to my channel, please click on the red subscribe button to subscribe and turn on the bell notification icon to be notified anytime I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E-J-I-M-O-Z-Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. So let's get right into the video. Tony Umez was born on 23rd August 1964 in Ogidi in Anambra State. His mother is from Cross River State while his father is from Ogidi where he was born. Despite his Igbo origin, the author revealed that he doesn't speak his father's language fluently but can speak his mother's language of Efik fluently. In 2013, the author lost his mother which he revealed through a post on Facebook. Tony Umez grew up in Lagos where he had his primary and secondary school education. After his primary and secondary school education, the author backed bachelor's degree in English language from the University of Lagos. He had master's degree in international law and diplomacy from the same university, University of Lagos. After his master's, Tony Mez's interest was to work with Ministry of Foreign Affairs. But at that time, there was an embargo on employment, so he couldn't get the job. Interestingly, he found his way to acting and as they say, the rest now became history. Tony Mez was already acting from his secondary school days where he performed as stage plays and dramas. In 1993, the actor joined the Nigerian movie industry in Hollywood and started featuring in Hollywood movies. He didn't get a dime from his first two movies, which made him to leave Nollywood to pursue other things. After a few years, Tony Mez returned into the movie industry in 1997 and featured in the movie The Princess. He was actually paid for his role in that movie and that motivated him to take part in other movies. He continued to do other movies until he featured in the movie titled Died Richard in 1998. This movie brought him to limelight and also earned him the nomination of Best Actor to Watch Out For at the African Movie Academy Awards. The highlight of the movie was the act of being buried in a casket worth 2.3 million naira. I think you should meet and listen to him. What else will he say about money? Money? Money for school fees and all whatnot? Does he think that I plant money from trees? Well, from what you told me, I think he has some good ideas. Well, I see. Tell me, what good idea does he have this time? Well, he wants you to open a small store for him instead of coming here often to ask you for money. And I think that's brilliant. You see? Don't you see? In 2003, Tony Umez featured in a Nollywood blockbuster movie titled Billionaire's Club. The movie made him a household name in Nigeria and Africa as a whole. What's up, baby? Sad! Sad! Sad, my baby! Calm down, I'll explain, okay? Calm down! Calm down! Calm down, I'll explain. You are what I must hear this! No one must hear this! Stop her! Take her to the sanctuary. Since then, till date, Tony Mez has starred in more than 215 Hollywood movies and he acts in both English and Yoruba speaking movies. In 2014, actor Tony Mez was heavily criticized by his fans when he featured in a soft pornography movie titled Room 027. This might be the reason why he was absent from the movie industry for so long because a lot of movie actors and producers stopped featuring him in their movies. Tony Mez also revealed in an interview that he regretted ever accepting the role. Although he stated that he didn't have sex in the movie, but he accepted the role based on the creativity he saw in the script. Tony Mez married his wife Patsy Ogochuku on the 16th of November 1999. They met on a movie set in 1994. Tony Mez revealed that his church was to do a program and he was invited to feature in the film. He started as a lead role in the movie, which was titled Karanja. 
In the movie, Pastor Gotchko and Tony Mez played the role of couples. Tony Mez acted as Mr. Pascal, while Patsy acted as Mrs. Pascal. The author further revealed that Patsy threw him off his feet initially with her amazing comportment. Interestingly, when he told the friend that invited him to the movie set about his interest in Patsy, he was glad to hear that because of the chemistry they both had in the movie. When Tony Mez approached Patsy Ogochku, she initially told him that she only wanted friendship from him. But she eventually succumbed to his interest and they began dating in December 1994. They got married five years later and their marriage is blessed with four lovely children. Yes, so this is my lovely wife in whom I am well pleased. <laughs> we are celebrating our wedding anniversary today. 19 very sweet years of solid love. I love you, my love. I love you. The act a few years back flaunted one of his daughters on social media and he got a shocker from his fans. Many commented saying that after romantic roles he had played with young actresses like Genevieve Najin, Omotolo Jolade, Uche Jumbo and many others. He shouldn't expect his beautiful daughter to get scot free in the hands of men. Patsy had a stint in the Nollywood movie industry but due to her knowledge in the movie industry, she keeps a close eye on her husband to make sure he doesn't go astray. She is also a businesswoman. She has a shop named Baby Paradise where she sells baby stuffs. Hello people, how are you doing? Yes, I just want to share one of my life's driving philosophies. What you accept as a poor man, you will accept as a rich man. Because of course by then, it would have become a habit. So I just want to enjoin each and every one of us. Beware of the shit that you accept. Because in the end, you will end up eating shit all your life. Just felt as you share. Always remember, integrity and focus are the key points. God bless you. Thank you very much for having time to watch my video to the end. I have a question for you in the comment section. Which of Tony Mez's movies is your favorite? Drop your opinion in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. Turn on the bell notification icon to be notified every time I drop new videos. Follow me on Instagram at Ejimozi, E-J-I-M-O-Z-Y. I'm always active on Instagram. Just follow me there. Thank you very much and God bless you.